Hey, hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Got a new package here to open. Some of y'all are pretty good about hitting me up on the Instagram, sending me DMs with links to things, and sometimes I just can't resist. And that's what happens here. This is a succulent from rarsucculents.com. Let me double check that. Rare su it just says rare succulents. They're on Etsy. I'll link them in the description. They have a big selection of succulents. That's what they sell. There were a few things that stood out to me and there's just one. There was one plant where I was like, I want that. I'm a sucker for an Aeonium and that's what we have in here. A really vibrant, beautiful Aeonium. At least that's what the pictures made it look like. But can't actually say for sure until pop this thing open, have a look with our own eyes and see what's going on in there. I said our because I'm referring to us as a group watching the video. I don't refer to myself as we. Probably didn't even need to specify that. I'm sure you knew what I meant. Oh, gotta love those shadows. I have new lighting and it's here, but the brackets to mount them from the ceiling are not here. So they're to the side. Can you see that? That's great. That's what you want to see in a video. It's gonna make it work. Shipping on this was fairly fast. They shipped it out on like a Thursday or Friday. I don't, what's up with Etsy and the weird shipping? Ship things out on Mondays and Tuesdays, maybe Wednesdays. Ship out on Thursdays and Fridays. Sometimes things will sit around for a while. There's a little card, came with it. April Farm Rare Succulents, Instagram, at Rare Succulents, website, raresucculentshop.com, Etsy, Rare Succulents. That's nice, like I said, I'll have that link down below in the description of the video. I paid for this, this isn't sponsored. This is nice, it feels plushy, very soft. There's the rest of the packaging paper and a heat pack in the bottom, which is still, Still kind of warm, lukewarm. Probably didn't need the heat pack, but this time of year, I'm in St. Louis, you didn't know that. It's November, you just never know what's going to happen. Right now we're having the weather where it's in the 60s and 70s during the day, but then plummeting into the 30s at nighttime. So it just seemed like a smart idea to go ahead and have a heat pack included. Hopefully it's not that tissue paper isn't ruining the audio. Look at that. Oh, there's something beautiful in here. Seeing some nice color on this. I'll double check the description, but I don't think it's specified. And for what this thing cost, I just assumed that it would be shipped with a container around those roots. That's okay. Aeoniums, they're super tough. This is Aeonium Pink Witch. And you know, I think you should pop this up and then talk about it. I don't it doesn't look good like this, right? That's not a good look. Just a flat, flaccid aeonium sitting on the table. Good thing I have some potty mix sitting right next to me. And I think I can reach a pot without having to get up and move all my lights and everything. There we go. Have a pot. This is a nice airy blend that I mixed up and I repotted an Echeveria that's still sitting over here on the table a week ago, I believe. A couple videos prior to this one. Hopefully I have enough of that because I think that this would be a perfectly fine mix. Actually, really good mix for this Aeonium. And give this a nice heavy drink, helps settle the soil around those roots. That it needs it, right? That's a thirsty plant. Probably going to need to put some gravel in here to help stabilize it, try and get it straightened out. It was a little low on soil, probably could have potted that up another quarter of an inch, but I think this is okay. It'll allow me to put some gravel in here to add that stability so I can make sure I'm getting that nice upright growth that I wanna see out of an Aeonium. Overall, it looks pretty good. I don't expect to get plants that look exactly like the photos unless I'm buying a plant where it specifies that they're selling the plant that's in that photo. I always expect some leaves and things to be torn. That's just the nature of shipping plants. I'm not concerned about any of this stuff that's going on in here. That's not a big deal. Aeoniums, sturdy plants. I think that this is going to be an absolutely beautiful plant and probably not too terribly long. These are plants that have always done really well for me in the growth space. Kind of smushed. Throw some sticks or something around it if it were to be shipped potted, but they don't ship things in pots, apparently. It's just they pull them out of their containers and wash them and dry them out. So that does make it harder to not have a part of the plant that lays flat. But the thing is, with good lighting and making sure that it is watered appropriately, that should all fluff back out and look totally normal in no time. I'm just excited about the plant. We should talk about the plant itself because it is absolutely beautiful. Isn't this a stunner? I pretty sure, hopefully at some point, had mentioned this is Aeonium Pink Witch. It has a very nice pink and white variegation on it. 
The more light this one gets, the more pink that variegation is going to be and the less white you'll have on the inside. But there are lots of other variegated succulents out there. The Pink Witch just stands out to me because they usually seem to have a very nice growth form to them, as most Aeoniums do. But sometimes when you start to get into heavily variegated plants, you can end up with some weird wonky growth on them. But all the ones that I've seen usually look to have really nice uniformity consistently across the board. When I'm ordering a plant that I've never grown before, I like to get onto like Google and just type in the name of that plant, click images, and look for consistencies or inconsistencies and see whether or not the pictures that are up there from the seller look anything like what all these other images are showing. Check out some blogs, see what's going on with them, just to get a better understanding of what the plants actually look like. Because even if somebody's not trying to be deceptive, you don't always get the best pictures, the best lighting. There's just differences in screens. What I'm seeing on my screen when I'm editing a video may be totally different from what you see on your screen. When I watch back my videos before I publish them on the TV in my office, I love the picture. If I watch them back on the TV in uh, the bedroom, I hate it. I don't like the way the color looks. So that's something that I just try and keep in mind when I order a plant. That being said, I was hoping for one that had some more pink on it, like the ones in the pictures, but I really like the variegation on this. Even without all the pink, there's plenty of pink in here. It's just not as intense as the ones in the pictures. I like the creamy white that's in there. It's a lot of variegated plants. You get some yellows. I'm not a fan of that. I think that these colors blend very nice together. It's a peaceful and calm variegation. It's not one that is screaming. Does that make, you know what I mean? I'm making sense here. I tend to be picky about variegation. I really like the variegation on this one. I cannot wait to see this put on some size. When Aeoniums get going, really about from where this one is, they start to look like a bonsai tree. It's one of the reasons I like them so much and they can be incredibly long-lived plants. This will hopefully be around in my plant room or my collection for a very long time. I am going to be very mindful of making sure that this main stem here stays nice and straight. That's really all there is to it. It's, just, it's a pretty plant. I haven't grown this one before, so this is something you just have to follow along, see how it does. I wouldn't expect much out of this for a while. This could easily double the size by this time next year and have a really nice, big, bushy kind of lollipop shape to it. As long as I stay on top of making sure I prune out the right growth from down below and keep it steady, right? With right lighting so it grows up nice and straight. Uh, did we need to talk about the care? Did you know about Aeoniums? This is just supposed to be a spotlight. It's a succulent. Don't overwater it. Let it dry out in between waterings. This is one where outdoors near the coast, usually these can take a good amount of sun. Indoors, south facing windows set back a couple feet, indirect light, good way to go for them. I don't always recommend turning the pots. That used to be something people talked about a lot with house plants, just make sure you rotate the pots for even growth, which is true, but to make that part of a care routine is usually unnecessary. With these, I would rotate them probably every other month, something like that, just to make sure that you can maintain that nice straight growth. Because I have noticed with a lot of Aeoniums, they will very quickly start to lean towards the direction of the light. And since they don't do great with direct light, at least not in the afternoon indoors through a window, there are lots of variables that play into that, right? It depends on where you live and the angle of the sun and all those things. But in general, very bright indirect light will keep them happy. Water less in the winter than in the spring, summer, and maybe early fall. Again, that depends on where you live. When the day legs are longer, you'll want to water more often. I usually only fertilize these with a dilute fertilizer at about a quarter of a strength. I like to put a small amount of soil release into the containers with pretty much all of my succulents at least twice a year. I should probably do it three times a year, but twice a year is about as often as I remember to do it. And I like to make sure it's just a fertilizer that has a good amount of calcium in it because calcium builds nice, sturdy, strong walls and succulents seem to appreciate that. And from what I gather, do your own research on this, that's a disclaimer, but from what I've gathered, Aeoniums are one of the more pet friendly plants that are considered to be non-toxic around dogs and cats. But just to be safe, like I say in every video from talking about toxicity, keep them away from curious mouths, just to be safe. Aeoniums are one of my favorite succulents to grow because they offshoot so quickly. They're one that you can propagate very, very easily. You just come in, cut out one of those gross, let it callous over. It usually takes about a week. You can just pop it back down to some soil. They take root very easily and they get going fairly quickly too. So this is a plant that hopefully will be one that I can grow and keep on giving 
I'll be taking cuttings to maintain a nice, good shape with it. That's okay. That's everything. All right. Comment down below. What are some of your favorite succulents? Have you grown the pink witch? What do you think? Did I get ripped off? Was this too much money? Paying for size with this one. That was the main thing was that I wanted one that was a nice big cluster. But when I'm paying for size, I'm also paying for roots. This is, it's not a cutting, but it's going to have to reroot and reestablish itself. So in some ways it's kind of a cutting, not quite. It's, we'll call it a started cutting. How about that? So I would have preferred to have not paid more than probably $49.99. That's just my opinion on that. I'm cheap when it comes to plants. I consider this to be a very, very, very pricey one. Is this leaf bothering anybody else? That's been bugging me. Etsy shop had been showing up. Pretty much every time I got on Etsy, they're like, look at these succulents, all these things from the rare succulent shop. So I thought, okay, well, let's check it out, see what it's all about. I like what I got. I'd say it's pretty true to the pictures that were on there, not quite as pink, but there are a lot of pictures that showed them in various shapes and sizes. I wish the pictures had been labeled. That would have been really nice so you could get an idea of what the five inch clumps and various sizes would look like uh, because I wasn't fully sure if the five inch clump was going to be referring to the pot size or of the actual clump. But I'm thinking it's the clump because that probably is about a five to six inch clump. It's a nice sized plant. I'd probably order from them again. Maybe not a plant quite this expensive, but I'd gladly order some smaller cuttings. Why not? They have nice stuff. And I'm crazy about this one. I think it's beautiful. Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, a great life and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. There's a better shot of the inside. I didn't really get in there all that close before. Lots of growth down there. Like I said, comment down below, say hi, I love talking to everybody. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye.